Okay, now I will uh, go through the activities in the login functionality section of the chapter titled Web Application Security. I'm going to skip over this uh, explanation of authentication. Jump right to what we need to do. We need a login servlet. So right now anybody can access our application. Let's um, let's make it so that uh, in order to access uh, some of the functionality they need to log in. So I'm going to uh, create a login servlet. Let's first configure the servlet in the uh, deployment descriptor. descriptor. Otherwise it's the otherwise known as the web XML file. And um, just scroll down here. Just plug that in there. Oops, that's uh, yeah, might as well clean it up a little. It looks uh, just to keep it consistent with the other with the elements, make it easier to uh, to look at. All right, that's done. I close all these. Now we'll need to create this uh, login servlet. Under web. Let's go ahead and do that. It's a login servlet. Once again, it's, um, it's an HTTP servlet. There it is. Double click on that. Let's uh, grab the code from the web page. I'm not going to go into um, much of an explanation about this code. I have more explanation in the book and uh, also you should basically read the code and understand it that way as well. So different ways you can approach that. I'll just do a quick overview here. So we have login servlet, it extends HTTP servlet. We've got our logger, request dispatcher. In the init section, we configure this uh, RJSP. <coughs> we access the JSP through this request dispatcher class. And uh, we get that through here. And then uh, when we request a login page, the doGet method runs. Then we just forward to the JSP. Uh, but when the user submits, clicks the submit button in the login page, the servlet, the same servlet is invoked, but in this this case, the it comes in as a post message or an HTTP post message. So this different chunk of logic runs, and this is where we check that the username and password is valid. If it is valid, we let the person through. I think we send them somewhere, maybe to the uh, to the home. Here it is. We redirect them to this URL, which is set to home. But um, if, the, if the username doesn't exist or the password is wrong, then um, we send them to we, we provide a message, we send them back to the to the login page, but print a an authentication failure message. All right, that's that. That's uh, my explanation. All right, so that's in there. And uh, finally, we need the JSP, login JSP, that has the login page. Go ahead and create that put that in uh, this GSP folder. It's a file. Login.jsp. Let's uh, grab that. Make sure we get all of it. Paste it in there. There's the uh, 
the form, see the method is post. The action is set to nothing, that means the uh, browser should submit the form data to the same URL that was used to retrieve the the form itself. I don't know why there are spaces in here. It's not needed. Alright, that's that. Is there anything else we need to do? I think that's it. We can test, then we'll do the logout servlet. Let's go ahead and test that. This is all finished. And uh, let's go ahead and test that. Here we have the, uh, the running application. I wonder if this is even running. Yes, it is running, isn't it? Uh, so, um, let's uh, let's go to the manager application slash HTML. This is uh, admin, admin, and uh, so we modify the publisher application. Let's stop that. Start it. And if we go to home, list news items, looks like there's no, well, there's nothing to test actually. There is, um, oh, I see the publisher login. We don't have a link for that, but let's go ahead and test that. Uh, let's uh, copy the link address there. Let's uh, paste that in there. There's the login page. I'll put in a bad, some bad data. Authentication failed. Let's put in some good data. Admin, admin. We're in there. Logout. Logout doesn't work yet. Let's let's do that. Now we haven't protected any pages. In other words, all of the functions such as listing and creating and editing, all of those functions are are not uh, are not um, limited by the authentication yet. So we'll we'll fix that. Let's add the uh, logout uh, functionality now, which is uh, here. We do the same thing. We add a servlet to implement logout. Uh, let's put it in the web XML file. Go down to the, the bottom as usual. So you could put it anywhere. Although it needs to be within the the root of the um, of the web app uh, element. All right, just clean it up a little bit. So we're going to create a logout servlet here. That's the name of the servlet. Save that under uh, the web. Create a new class HTTP servlet. There it is. Logout servlet. Grab that. It's pretty simple. Paste it in there. Let's take a look at it. Basically, we we get through the request object gets passed in here when do get runs. So when we click on it's going to be a link. So when we click the link. We'll send an HTTP GET request to the server. This method will run. And uh, when we get that, we we from this request object that Tomcat passes in, we we call get session that returns the HTTP session object. Call invalidate on the session. 
and um, and then we redirect to the um, to the login page. I think that's all we need to do. Let's uh, let's test it. Well, let's uh, we're going to need to stop and uh, start. Log out, and um, there it is. Let's do Bob. It's shorter. Bob logged in. Log out. It, of course, it doesn't mean much. We we can still go to all the other pages of the application. So we need to uh, start protecting those. Anyway, this is the uh, this is the completion of this section of the book.